Hey everyone, it is Saturday, June 27th. I hope you guys are all doing well. I feel like it's been weeks again since I have picked up the camera. We have been really busy this June. There's been so much going on. Um, both of the boys wrapped up school this week, so homeschooling is finally behind us for this year. We don't know what's going to happen in the fall yet, but I'm really happy that it's over for now. James graduated from grade eight this week and we were so proud of him. We sold a trailer last week or two weeks ago and it was kind of sad to see it go, but we've kind of moved past that phase in our lives and we're hoping that someone else will enjoy it now. We sold a car, I got a new car, well, a new to me car, it's um, a used car, but I love it. And we've just been kind of, wrapping all of those things up. Glenn is cleaning the garage today. The Premier League is playing again, so we are going to watch a Manchester United game in a little bit. That's James's favorite team, and I've really missed watching games with him, so we're gonna do that. And it's just gonna be kind of a low-key day. I might go out and help in the garage a little bit, but I plan on some knitting, some journaling, and I've also got a new book I'm really excited about. I'm enjoying it so much that I'm gonna have to share it with you guys. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a really nice day, so I will take you along with me. I finally have an almost finished object to share with you. I am amazed because I have not been knitting at all up until maybe Wednesday this week. I just have not felt like picking up any of my projects or casting on anything new, I was kind of in a bit of a slump. And at the beginning of it, I felt bad. Um, but then I just kind of went with it because I go through these phases, I do other things, I've been gardening a little bit. Um, I've been really enjoying my journals and art journaling and just spending time with the kids. So I didn't feel guilty about it. I just thought eventually I will get back to it and this was the week that I finally did. I thought it would be good to start with a sock, something that I had already started so that I could um, finish it up and feel accomplished. So I picked up one of my favorite sock whips. Um, I had started this sock over a year ago when we were on a family vacation in Cape Cod. I absolutely love this colorway. It's one of my most favorite ones ever. It's from Scrumptious Pearl. It's called Pool Party. It's just so fun and vibrant. And I think I had um, the second sock done to about the heel flap. So on Wednesday, I picked it up, started the heel flap, um, got through all of that while we were watching TV at night. And I breezed through the rest of it. It was really fun, it was really quick. And now I just need to kitchener stitch the toe, which I think I'm going to do in a few minutes when I sit and watch the soccer game with James. So I'm really happy that I have an almost finished pair of socks. I probably will finish them by the time this vlog is uploaded. I had them in one of my large signature pouches, which is really a good size for a sock project. And the only other knitting project that I kind of have pulled out right now is my Felix sweater. It's also the only thing that I picked up while I was in my slump once in a while. I would pick it up and do like one or two rows. So I think I've only got an inch more than from when, when I did my last video. And I'm really still enjoying this project too. It's beautiful. I think it's going to be amazing to wear in the fall. It is super soft and I still have um, just a few more rows to do on the raglan increases. And then I will separate for sleeves and it should be super easy knitting and quick after that. So this will be a really good summer knitting project to finish. I'm really enjoying the yarn. It is um, Joe Sharp Silk Erin Tweed, Silk Road Erin Tweed, and the color is licorice. It's really beautiful. I love that I don't have to wind the balls. They're already wound, and it's a fun pattern. I'm really loving it. I also love my charm from Maria. 
She is Woolen Forest on Instagram, and this is um, from her shop on Etsy, which is called Forest Charms. She's beautiful stones. So this is the um, the main project that I will probably be picking up this week and hopefully making some headway on. But of course, I have a new sock that I'd like to cast on. I know I have lots of single socks started or done and I'm ready to do the second, but I felt like starting this one. I love this one as well. I got this not too long ago, maybe a month or so ago. It is another scrumptious pearl yarn. The color is Now You See Me, Now You Don't. And it came with a mini. And I just love how it's kind of like a camo feel with a pop of this bubblegum pink. I thought it was super cute. So I am probably going to wind that up this weekend and cast on another sock to just tote around with me. I decided to pop it in this cute little basket that I got from Molly at a homespun house. She used to have these in her shop and um, it's super cute. So I can take it outside or wherever and it's just really handy. So this is my knitting. I'm super excited about my finished object. I'm gonna go finish that up now, watch the soccer game and check in with you later. upstairs to share a little bit about a book that I am really enjoying with you. I first found out about this book through Ali Abdal, his YouTube channel. I really enjoy his channel. Um, I'll put his name up on the screen if you're interested. And he did a video that kind of covered this book. It's called Make Time. And he even spoke to one of the authors and they went through like the bones of the book and um, just all of the concepts behind how to make time more, not to be more productive, but um, finding the important pockets of time in the day for you. This is something that has always interested me. Um, up until three years ago, I was working full time in a corporate job in the fashion world, and it really revolved around production schedules, meetings, um, travel, I commuted hours per day. And it was an environment like so many others, if you work outside of the home, um, it's extremely demanding and stressful. And when you add in a family and children and other stuff with the children and a home to take care of and all of these things, um, they've just kind of changed the way that we live. And it's been something that I've researched and read a lot about and um, I'm fascinated with it. So like I said, I've read a lot of books, I've researched it, and um, I've even had, you know, instances in the past where at the beginning of filming a podcast when I was still working in an office, and if I would ever mention being tired or having a lot to do, I used to get a lot of comments and emails um, from people kind of telling me that I should follow the slow movement and I should be doing this and I should be doing that and I'm much too busy and I'm much too stressed. And, you know, as much as I think that comes from um, a good place in people's heart, it's often not possible. And if you don't live in, in a world where um, both parents are working or, you know, whatever whatever is going on in your life might be different, but I think it's important to know that some people will have busy lives and you can manage it um, and you can reduce some of the stuff, but it doesn't necessarily mean you need to move out to the country and grow all your own food and 
you're going to have all this time in the world. It's just not realistic for me. It's not realistic for a lot of people. So this is something that I've been researching for a really long time and nothing's ever really clicked. Um, some things have been good and helpful and I'm pretty good at being organized and I keep a planner, but this book is exactly what I was looking for. It's like something clicked and whatever was in my head, two people sat together and they've been working on it and I'm fascinated with it. So I'm gonna show you the book. So this is the book. It is called Make Time, How to Focus on What Matters Every Day by Jake Knapp and John Saratsky. And they are really clear in this book that this is not a book about productivity and getting more things done. It's just how to focus on what matters every day alongside a busy life. Um, they both come from a uh, tech background. I think they've worked for like YouTube or Apple. I'm not sure. Um, they helped work on Gmail and YouTube and all kinds of stuff that is actually part of what keeps us really, really busy. And um, they just have a really good approach to making time. They talk about two things. Um, well, they basically say that, you know, most of our time is spent by default because we are so busy. And they talk about um, the two reasons that you kind of lose time. One is the busy bandwagon, which is kind of our culture and what we're doing and how we always have stuff to do. And our to-do list is never really um, cleared. And then also infinity pools. And that is really part of our culture with um, infinite amounts of information, videos to watch on YouTube, pictures to look at on Instagram, um, checking your emails, even, you know, news updates around the clock and Netflix. There's always something to watch. So there, you know, there are so many reasons behind why we feel like this at the end of a day. Um, so they go through all of that. And then this is kind of their approach to how to deal with it and how to make time for yourself. So I'm not going to give away all of it and I haven't read, I've only been reading about the highlight, but basically it's about creating a highlight for each day, which is choosing a focal point, um, being able to beat the distractions and focus on it. Then think about it. Did it work for you? What works best for you? And then they have this other piece, which is um, energizing and really taking care of your mind and body so that you're able to keep going each day. Um, and I really like that the highlight can sometimes be work. It could be a project that you're doing. It could be like a shop update for me. Um, a day of sewing, but some days it could even be um, that I want to finish knitting a sock or I want to go to the park with the boys. So I really, really like this approach. Um, it's written in a really casual, um, relatable way. I feel like their experiences and lifestyle are very similar, even though our industries are very different. Um, I think them working in the tech industry is actually a lot like working in the fashion industry. And even though I work at home now and I do have a bit more time, um, I feel like the mentality is still there. And so I'm still tired and I've been wondering like, why am I still tired? I'm home now. I have more control over my schedule. I'm saving hours a day by not commuting. Um, and I think this is kind of helping me to understand why it's those infinity pools that suck your time up. And um, it's this kind of busy bandwagon. So I think I'm always going to be a busy person. That's who I am. I have a million interests. And if I'm not doing one, I want to try something new and sign up for a course. But I just feel like... Um, this is making a lot of sense to me. And if you have any kind of um, feelings that are similar to mine, I've spoken about it before. And if you can relate, then I wanted to recommend this because even a quarter in, I'm absolutely loving it. I've been highlighting and taking notes in it. And I'm actually going to start um, taking notes in a separate notebook. And I'm going to set an intention and a highlight every day. 
um, that's a priority for me. I've, I've started today actually, and I'm gonna see how that goes. I'm not sponsored. No one has asked me to talk about this book. Um, I just found it through a YouTube video and I think it's really, really valuable. So if you're interested, I wanted to share. And if you do grab it and pick it up, let me know what you think because um, like this is just such a fascinating thing to me. Like I've had conversations with my mom and my sisters and friends about, you know, was it really like this for you when you were younger? Like my mom did not experience this to the same magnitude that we do. And I think technology and, um, you know, more people working from the home and less of us staying home with kids can relate. So I'd be really interested if you guys read it and um, let me know what you think. Earlier this week, I spent almost a whole day tidying up again in my workspace. I've shown you guys a bit of a tour in here before, but what I focused on was this horrendous closet because I do have a lot of stuff. And I managed to do a really good cleanup of it and I found an extra Ikea cart in the house that we didn't use anymore. And so the one in the middle is um, just organizing extra packaging and labels and a few things for my shop. And then the one on the right is um, mostly art supplies that I still need, but I don't need them all the time. So I still have a lot of stuff in here, but I've reduced it, I think, as much as I can. It's as organized as it can be right now. And I'm really happy about that because now that homeschooling is done, I'm hoping to finally get back to a bit more of a regular sewing schedule um, for my shop. I have been collecting some beautiful fabrics for some summer project bags. I was really drawn to these fabrics over the last few weeks and months. Um, some of them have little bits of gold and I really love that. So I've got some Rifle Paper Company and some Cotton and Steel and I'm really looking forward to getting those cut and hopefully a shop update sometime soon. I don't think I've shared a favorite beauty or makeup product in a while and this one has been in rotation every single day. I love it so much that I actually just bought a backup for it. So I wanted to share it with you. It is from the company called Nude Sticks. It is, let's see what it says on the larger one. It's called Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. It's a pencil that you use on your eyes and uh, this color is Bright Eyes. It is the most beautiful, cool toned, metallic, but not glittery, kind of taupey beige brown color. I love it. I use it every single day all over my eyelids and it comes in this super cute tin. And I usually save these, they're really cute. They have a mirror and they even come with a sharpener. So I bought a backup because that's how much I love it. And I was really worried that because I was using it every single day, it was kind of going down quickly. So I wanted to share, it's super pretty. It's Nude Sticks Eye Color and the color is Bright Eyes.
expect to be filming again today, but I got onto a video call with some friends last night and had so much fun that I completely lost track of time and didn't film anything else. So I'm back. It is a beautiful Sunday. It's going to be super hot today. So I think I'm just going to spend part of today prepping for the week, just getting myself a little bit organized. I feel like if I get some laundry started and some food prep done, then I feel much better for the week ahead. And I'm also going to take some time. I'm going to pull out my planner, get ready for the week ahead there, and maybe do some knitting. We will see. Thank you. 